Hello. If you are trying to create some custom data to use with YOLO V5, then I got something for you. <coughs> well, I, I've done an add-on inside Blender to help in creating the annotations, which is a very boring thing to do. So here is the page of YOLO V5. I won't get into how you train the data, but how you can annotate it very easily. So let's go to Blender. In Blender, you can go to VFX to do the tracking. And let me add the add-on. Preferences, Stall. Let me get this. Here. Enable the add-on. You can close now. Now you have this option here. <coughs> but let let us do another thing. Let me add um, video editing. Video editing, because from what I read, Yolo V five uh, likes to have this his data in four hundred sixteen by four hundred sixteen. So we can get a resolution here to that size 460 460 and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab my my video is this one I'm gonna push it here so I have my own video doing some weird faces so I'll grab I'll grab just part of it let me stop at uh, 100 frames so I'm going to use it just this part and now I have the size that I'm going to export I'll go to this I'll click on this first one that's the video file transform and then I'm going to scale to the place that I am most interested which is my face so I'll focus on this part. You see that I'm not gonna grab more interesting part. Okay. Now I'll use this part to annotate. First I'm gonna export this new size to PNG files. So I'll choose um, place to, to export it let me create another one Fisher test I'm gonna export here okay now I go to the render render animation if you go Fisher test, you have all the files here from 1 to 100. Now the work begins. Now we go to the motion tracking and we open a video, facial test where we export it, and then we press A to select all the files, open clip. Now we see here that he has. 100 frames just the part that we exported and here is the video now to track we can control click and then you're gonna have this thing here i i wanna track my eyebrow let me go to the first frame resize it I'll try to to leave it as a rectangle because that's what yellow v5 likes he uses uh, rectangles okay basically this and I'll create another one on this side
fine. Now we're gonna track to track. You select the tracker. Oh, a uh, nice important thing. Create in the track a name for it. In this case, eyebrow, left, and this one, eyebrow, right. Then I'll select and press here to so he can go through the video. You see that it for itself track it the, the motion. And now I'm gonna do this one. He also tracked it. You see that's fine. Now that you tracked both, in this case both, you go to the add-on that we installed and then we select the path. Here, video, visual test, path to export, and then I press export data. You can see, first, I didn't press yet. You can see all the files here, the PNG files, fine. And then we press export data. Now, we have all the text files next to the frames. Besides the text files with the number, which means the frame, the tracking data for the frame, we also have these darknet labels. It can be used to import this data on a place like RoboFlow that I'm going to show. And also we have these classes dot text that can be used to open in a um, tool like label EMG so you can see the, the data. So our job here has ended. Now we, I can show you the data in label IMG. Where you can see the data that we exported now. Open there, then we can go to the folder, visual test, select and here, here, here it is. We have all the tracking data. On this eyebrow, I only have it tracked from 10 to 30. That's why most of, most of it's not shown here. Here we can see both of them. One thing I forgot to, to show, you can see that it stopped tracking, but you can keep tracking. Pressing Ctrl T, you can see that it stopped here, so you can move it to find another place. Press Ctrl T again, and then now he could be able to, to finish tracking everything. Let me track from here. I can press here to track backwards from this point to the beginning. And he did it without a problem. So I'm going to export it again because I have the complete data. Export it. Fine. Then I can see it again here. Now all the frames from 1 to 100 has the data. And besides that, beside that, we can also see these these files in RoboFlow, which is very interesting because you can do some tasks and ev evaluate the data. Let me show how you can do it. You can create a new project. By the way, you can use it for free, but you have a open license. You you your data. It's going to be public. If you don't want your data to be public, you must pay. Okay. Let's create a test. Test. Create a public project. And we can select a folder. So we're going to select this folder to load all the files. Select folder. You can go to the folder. Visual test. Upload. Okay. Send it all. You can see that it's he's already processing everything. And 
most of the data is fine. Some of them is not. Well, I actually don't know why it, it doesn't work over here, but you can see this is 0 0.69084. 0 here, 0 0.84. It has, it must be some problem with Webflow. Well, well, that's it.